Hi there, I'm Katja from CompleteVocalCoach.com and this is the second video of the practice project. Now that you've set up your practice space and you know what items you might need there, let's talk about how to proceed. You see, here's what I've noticed. There's a couple of things that tend to get mixed up, both when we practice and when we go to singing lessons to work on our songs together with a teacher. You see, the whole process of learning could be split up in specific areas. And the problem that a lot of singers encounter is they're kind of working in all areas at the same time. And they're not aware that they're doing that, but they are. Or they are working in one specific area, but they should be spending time in another area first. So let me tell you briefly about what's going on here. Now, before you can work on vocal technique or interpretation or those kind of things in a meaningful and efficient way, you have to know the song. And I know this sounds very obvious. It's like, learn the song. Of course you have to learn the song. But you wouldn't believe how many singers I've worked with who kind of think they know the song, but they actually don't. They're struggling with certain notes. They're not really sure exactly what notes they have to sing, or they're a bit uncertain with the rhythm or such things. And this is gonna make working on the other things even more difficult. So you have to learn the song, make sure you know it. Now, when I'm talking about learning a new song, I mean general things like learning the melody so that you know those notes and learning the rhythm or learning the lyrics and making sure that you understand them so that you can start working out an interpretation of your own and so on. Remember that learning the song doesn't mean that your vocal technique and your expression have to be flawless at this stage. Those are things that we can work on later. And this is a very common misunderstanding. A lot of singers think that they have to be flawless with vocal technique already in that stage when they just learned the song or are actually still learning the song. And even very many um, choirs that I work with make this mistake. So they're kind of learning the repertoire and while they're still learning, the choir director is already making demands on things that actually belong in the next stage. So make sure that you learn the song first and that you know it. And once you know the song, you can map out the areas that you either need to pay more attention to or that you perhaps need to go back and learn or things that you might want to change. And now you can also get a sense of how you would like to further develop the song for instance, in terms of interpretation. So you see, we're really kind of slowly moving into another stage here. And in that developing stage, we make sure that the technical choices that you make are supporting your artistic expression. Eventually, you then consider a song ready to be performed. And then you can sing it for an audience or go and record it. But you see, it's very important that you know exactly in which stage you are. Because a lot of people, they think their, their song is performance ready when it's not. Or they think they're kind of in this developing stage when they actually should still be learning certain things. So you see that it's very important to know exactly where you are and to get clarity with that. So here's what I want you to do this week. First of all, go through your songs and make sure you know exactly what song belongs in what category. And don't cheat. And then you figure out what specific things you might want to work on in each song. That way you have clarity and you can start working in a more systematic and focused way. So go get organized. See you next time. Bye bye.